Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today is day 64. Uh, still no sunshine, but there again, uh, still no rain. So we're we're back at uh, at PA again. We are in uh, Carlisle at the at the uh, ATC Conservatory Farm, Scotts Farm, and we are headed to. Duncannon. In particular, we're headed to uh, the Doyle Hotel, which is a uh, like a landmark dive hotel along the AT that everyone stops at. It's a a bar restaurant, and they have uh, twenty five dollar hotel rooms upstairs. We'll uh, we'll not have to. Uh, we won't be taking uh, advantage of those. Um, we have somebody. Picking us up in Don Cannon and uh, bringing us back tonight, so we should be in pretty good shape and not need a, a hotel room. Um, hold on. As you can see, uh, the scenery hasn't changed that much from Virginia to Pennsylvania. We're still looking at a lot of uh, green under underbrush. Um, today's challenge should be as always the last five miles are uh, are going to be a pretty rocky pretty rocky pretty uphill so that's what we got today and i'd rather have the challenges up front and get them over with but uh, that's not the case today so um there again glad to have you guys with us um try to get this posted as soon as possible uh we should have access to uh Wi-Fi and all that good stuff uh, again tonight, so we'll uh, we'll get it done. Uh, I'll talk to you later. And uh, talking about the weather, uh, today is uh, June 6th, and I talked to my buddy F-Word uh, last night. He's down in Salem, Virginia. Uh, he said the weather there is finally clearing. Uh, he actually took a week off the trail uh, and uh, got a got a gig there as a, a shuttle driver trying to earn some money and stay off the trail for a week and give it a chance to clear up he said they are looking for some clear weather coming up so uh, as soon as our schedule permits uh, we'll look on headed back down and um, finish up Virginia Well, the first question is, I wonder who got this car all the way out here to, to leave it here. And second question is, uh, particularly to Mark Heisey or George Williams, can you identify this car? Oh, just as a footnote, guys, I uh, was able to find the Craigslist uh, listing for that vehicle, and it says, needs some work. Nothing but green. Uh, there again, there's no sign of the sun. It's kind of dark and misty down here. It's kind of eerie. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it could it could get you depressed. We haven't seen the sun in I don't know many many days. Uh, there again, the lack of difference between here and Virginia is. Other than Pennsylvania, like I said, is known for their vast variety of rocks. Alrighty. Out into the 
real world, out of the woods, onto the boardwalk, ah, in the farmland. All righty, high grass, wet, and ticks. And the Mighty Mouse is always looking for the positive. Yep. Where's the sun? Every time we're out here, it's like six. And that's what we got today. But it's yeah. a beautiful scene. Though. It's a beautiful scene. It would be better with sun, but. Yeah, Mighty Mouse is right about one thing. This is a uh, this is a haven for ticks and bugs and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, it's too early to tell by our direction, but I'm pretty sure we're going over that some at some point in time. I don't see any way around it. Alrighty, out of the fields, over the boardwalk, and into the swamp. Yeah. It looks like, uh, in here, it looks like it's about 7 o'clock at night. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the Susquehanna River, and uh, the clouds coming in and covering the mountaintop. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to try to articulate just how this is and I know because it's with the coloring of the rock and the trail it doesn't look like much but uh, this has been going on for about the last mile and a half and it continues on for about the next four and a half miles uh, till we almost get to uh, Duncan it stops shortly but um, it's not incredibly difficult um, but it's it's can be a, a mind game. It's because because it as far as you can see where uh, Mighty Mouse is, it, as far as she can see and as far as I can see, it, there's just no end to it. And the rocks are positioned so that there's no way you can really get like two or three good sized steps without having to take a short step or trying to get a long step. Um, to keep from having one of those sharp pointy rocks land in the bottom, in the middle of the ball of your foot. So, like I said, it's not um, uh, extremely strenuous, but it uh, said it's a little bit uh, mind of a mind game. Uh, might be something they put in the next amusement park. Maybe somebody would find it fun. All right, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to get to you guys, but we are making our descent down into Duncannon, and it is absolutely like a solid wall of rocks that we're climbing down. It's like the, we got all rocks down here, all rocks up here, and they put like a, almost like a uh, ledge right here kind of get down in the middle. And I think I mentioned it before, but that's one of the frustrating things about trying to calculate uh, time and terrain and because on the map this all looks well and good 
and you figure, hey, this is a nice easy breeze. The last couple of miles should be a nice easy descent into the town and then you, you get this. All right, here we are guys, down out of the wilderness, um, walking our way, uh, we're in uh, Duncannon, making our way to the famous Doyle Hotel. Okay, here we are guys, we're almost at the, the Doyle Hotel, uh, famous for uh, Cheap beds, hot showers, and $2 PBRs. If anybody doesn't know what a PBR, that's a Paps Blue Ribbon. Uh, sidebar, uh, we're uh, going to try to uh, get the Doyles and try to catch a ride back over to uh, Carlisle, where uh, two of our good friends, uh, Jerry and Linda, are, should be getting off the uh, auto train in Carlisle. So, uh, Hopefully we can uh, get a ride over there and hook up with them. So that's the plan. We'll let you know how that works out. 